Hey, hey, it's Charlie Ray. Welcome back to my channel. This is an idea that I had for making a cat ear hat. So, as you know, it's Granny Jenny. So, I have my stacks, my granny stacks here ready to go. But I did have um, an error on a couple of the stack, I mean, a couple of the squares that I made when I was really sleepy. So before I get started on putting these together, I'm going to have to pull this apart. And then I left one of the pink squares off so that I could show you that. And so I will put that pink triangle onto the square after I re pull it apart and remake it. I also have this one that's too large. I went another round again. This is what happens when you are too sleepy and too tired. You get these wonky mistakes. So let's just go ahead and fix that, shall we? There should be enough yarn to finish the square, but just in case, I am going to add it back to the yarn skein with a magic knot before I start crocheting. Now I can finish this last square and then it will be time to sew these together. I used two different acrylic yarns for this project, one a number four, the other one is a number two, and this is the weight, and it's not quite a pink, but I really thought this peachy pink would be great for the inside of the ears on this cat ear hat. So I used it to make the triangles for the inside of the ears and I just sewed it right on top of two of the squares before sewing them all together. ears so I originally thought that I would be using more squares for this project but after doing the math I really only needed um, 12 squares six for the front six for the back and I sewed these together using only the outside loops once I finish sewing these together I'll finish it tomorrow Good morning, 
I got all these squares sewn together yesterday. The front has the triangles and on the back, I just left those squares plain. Now I am considering whether I should add a, another row on the bottom to flip up or if I should just add ribbing like I was originally planning to do. So I'm gonna try to see how I think it will look by just placing the squares on top of the hat. Okay, so I think the ribbing is going to be the way to go for this project. So I am going to skip the extra row and just go right into adding the ribbing. I am glad I went with the ribbing. I really like the way this hat turned out. I think it's kind of cute. And I love the way the corners of the squares uh, dip in. I did some extra stitches there to give it a little more shaping. So if you'd like to know how to make these squares, I am going to add a link below to a tutorial for this particular granny square once I have posted that video. As a matter of fact, I am planning a whole granny square playlist and so keep an eye out for that. Just subscribe and click the notifications if you want to make sure you don't miss out on those. So. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me today. Bye.